guys, Ala Esther Levy here, and on this video, we're going to talk about New Year's, how we can take what we did this year, get ready for the new year, and bring in it with inspiration, awesomeness, and, and power based on EQ principles. So join me. And let's go on a journey on how you can recognize your level of crazy and manage it. Hey guys, so Ala Esther Levy here. So let's talk about New Year's. So it's coming to that time, right, when the end of the year, and usually this is the time when everybody starts to reflect on what's good, what's not so good, what have I accomplished, what have I done, what have I not done, right? What do I still have left to do? Well, here's the beauty part is that it's called a lifetime, right? We are here to live a lifetime. So first of all, let's take all the stress out of, oh my God, I haven't done everything I was supposed to do and oh my God, I suck and this and that. Let's throw that out. Okay, so let's start from a clean slate, understanding that we are here for a lifetime worth of lessons. Okay, so whether, you know, we live till we're over 100 or we live 60 years or we live 20 years, doesn't matter. The point is that it is a lifetime and we are here on a particular path to do a particular amount of things and learn certain lessons. So that's number one. So, but here's what we can do to prepare for the upcoming year and make sure that we're doing good stuff moving forward, right? So the first thing is, is number one, write it down. Write down all the things that you feel that you've done this year that were great. Whether they were little or enormous, whatever. Write down the things that you feel really proud of, okay? And on another side of the paper, right? So you can create one side of the paper with all the stuff that you feel were really great. And on the other side, the things that maybe you still feel you need to improve on and things that you would li like to continue to accomplish in the upcoming year. Number two, talk to a friend. Speak to someone that is close to you, someone that you trust, someone that you know really just means the best for you and they want you to succeed in everything that you're doing in life. And, and have them share with you what they feel you've done great and the things that you still could work on, okay? And that maybe they would like to see for you in the upcoming year. Because maybe sometimes we don't see what we think we could accomplish, right? So ask them and I bet they will give you a couple of things to think about. The third thing is create goals that inspire you. Focus on, you know, things that truly inspire you. Don't focus on what he's doing, she's doing, they're doing. Don't compare yourself to anyone but you. And focus on the goals that you would like to see yourself achieving uh, in the upcoming 12 months to 18 months to, you know, to two years. Sometimes it could be kind of hard to imagine yourself 5, 10, 12, whatever, how many years away from here. But you can always do that. You know, I always set my goals. Um, I always have really, really big goals for many, many, many years for a couple of decades, right? And then I move backwards and I break them down. Um, and that way I can create myself little baby goals. And that usually helps me tremendously. So... Again, write it down, spend some time with a friend or someone that you trust that will help you see the things that you've done great and the things you still need to work on. And number three, create some really great goals that inspire you, that make you feel good about yourself and that know that you can get there one step at a time. Okay, so I hope that helps. Keep smiling, remember, that the more you know and understand yourself, the more the world will know and understand you too. And remember what's the best that can happen. So take care, happy new year, and wishing you only the best.